<laughs> oh. Oh, oh, we're on. Oh, we're live. <laughs> we're live. So, how do we meet, babe? <laughs> we met a long oh, time ago. A while ago. Um, I went to look at a flat, which is like shared living. So, a bunch of single people or couples, like you have a room each in the flat. Uh, in a place, a house, and I went to look at a room when I moved to Auckland and Mike was living in that flat. Um, I didn't get chosen, <laughs> but he ran out and got my number and then eight or nine months later, when he was single, he texted me and we went out for a drink. It was quite funny because when Joe came and visited the uh, flat to look at the room, we'd actually already filled the room, unfortunately, with someone else. but. Um, I but didn't like think to tell me. <laughs> I was quite I mean, taken by Jojo, so I ran out as she left. I ran out. So I better get her number. This was the olden days when you had to like get phone numbers and stuff. There's no social media to find people. Um, the olden days. <laughs> and so I ran out to the car and I bailed. Up, ran up to the car window and there was her dad. Well, an old guy, which I assumed was her dad, just right there. <laughs> and I was like, oh. He looked a lot younger than he is now. <laughs> And um, I said, oh, excuse me, um, just in case this other person falls through, um, can I grab your number? And then, so, of course she handed me her number, you know. I really, no, also though, like, the flatmate, like, I was, like, I was attract, very attracted to Mike straight away. But also, the flatties were all really sporty and I just moved to Auckland for an internship at Radio Sport um, out of, university so i was like i need to like sporty people are cool yeah you guys just thought you get free tickets to sports events i think and then when i finally came to my senses and um was a single man about eight months later uh, i sent her a little text and um she replied straight away no that's actually a lie she was trying to be all hard to get and she always <laughs> read it and then wait like what that's what you do when what you're was 20, the rule like an hour yeah a day. i think so and then text back and then, um, yeah, we met up for a drink, and the rest is history. And just to go on from that funny text uh, chat thing, because the first time I was ever at her flat, we're sitting there in her living room watching TV, and I saw her phone get a message, and um, she picked it up, read it, and replied straight away. I was like, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Our first date was a bit. Do you remember that? It was on the state of origin. Yeah, yeah and our first date was a bet which I lost and I had also lost my cash flow card that weekend before the date and I managed to scrounge together about 60 New Zealand dollars and so here is no just I said no you no way you'd be able to go out with 60 New Zealand oh, dollars no, now not anymore I'll get you two drinks um <laughs> and yeah so we went out to dinner and we had a great time yeah, we did. Um, we picked her up in my mate's flash car. Oh my god. <laughs> she was like, what? Like, I am so not into cars. This was like a boy modified racer. boy racer yeah, yeah. car. Like, what? To me? <laughs> Each to their own. Okay? If you're into cars, that's fine. This Took her up to life. a really nice restaurant and we had dinner and it was great, but I was counting, like, counting up the okay we ordered a drink each that's twelve dollars <laughs> oh no what's she gonna order please order a salad please order a salad she ordered lamb <laughs> no i'm not i eat salads but yeah i like the meat <laughs> a decent piece though, a right? decent piece of meat and uh anyway i got through the dinner and i just managed to afford it we had a great time and then i thought we can't no do you remember we looked at the ghost dessert menu and you're like yeah let's have a look and i said oh. Not to know that I don't want dessert. And then you said later on that you were like, oh, thank God, you didn't want dessert. And then even though the day went really well and it was only like 9 p.m. It's 9.30. I had to just drop her off because I couldn't afford to take her anywhere else. I walked into the flat and my friend Ben, my flatmate Ben was on the couch. He was like, um, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't like, did it, like I had fun. And he just dropped me out of home. Like it just ended. But then did we go out the next night? I think we went out the very next night. Mm. And yeah, it was, it's been game on ever since. Well, mm -hmm. okay, there's a continuation of the story. So we were dating for like six weeks. And Joe had obviously been debriefing our new relationship with her best friend. 
trying to figure out whether we were exclusive boyfriend girlfriend or what the story was <laughs> so instead of approaching it with me she kind of got her best friend did you it was a barbecue. Was it her own initiative? But, well, she was quite... Just trying like, to help out. out. No, but she was very out, like, outspoken, quite a strong person. Yeah. And she was like, what's going on? What's going on? So... Uh, what she had you out at a you... barbecue, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Good girl. A girl's got to have girls back, right? And yeah, so the conversation continued on after that between just us. I remember being there that night. You were like, are you sleeping with anyone else? I was like, no. You were like, neither am I. Okay, good. Game on. <laughs> Done. That was how you, saw, you sorted it. Yeah. Locked her in. And then, what were we, dating for seven months with a OE to the UK. A couple of years in the middle of that. You moved in really quickly too. Came back, broke. And then we... Had some money for a couple of years and ordered a ring and got married two years later and now it's been what? Ten years. Sixteen or seventeen. Oh, I mean married for ten. Yeah. Married for ten years. Coming up eleven. Don't forget our anniversary. I brought this up the other day on I think it was a different social media platform chat and um he thought I was digging to remind him that we had our anniversary. <laughs> that it was eleven years. But I wasn't. A couple of reminders don't hurt, to be honest. Hey. Yeah. Just to give me a bit of lead time. <clears throat> and yourself. Remind yourself. You need to get me, you know, new But the thing is, these days, like, you can put, like, reminders in your phone. Yeah, true. So, no one should forget anything. December 1st, it's my birthday. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Just a wee while ago. All the action happens in our house, actually, towards the end of the year. Um, one of our boys is September, one birthday, and then October, and then I'm, oh, and then our anniversary is in late October, then I'm my no. birthday, yeah. my small birthday this year. Mike turns 40 on November the 5th. Guy That's, Fox? I don't know how old you are, but how did that happen, eh? Like, how do you, I just feel like I was 20. I feel like I am 20. The thing is, 40 is still young, but, like, as a young person i remember my parents 40th and thinking they were so old yeah. and i'm sure our children think we we're really old but well, when you're 18 you think a 25 year old's old so yeah. imagine what you think of a 40 year old mm. <laughs> dinosaur <laughs> <laughs> and then joe's birthday is in december and then it's christmas so yeah it all happens yeah it's busy the the it, the boys excuse love it. me oh well we're keeping you up what's <laughs> <laughs> up at 5 30 um and yeah, it's ex an expensive time of year too. Yeah, big time. Mm -hmm. But it's cool. We're all spring, summer babies, so we just enjoy it. Well, that was a quick story about how we met. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Um, our goal is to grow this channel, so if you've got spare five seconds, we'd love you to subscribe. And uh, who knows where this content's going to go, but it's going to be a good fun ride. And um, I'm planning some good surprise plan pranks and audios and some day in the lives of. And then we might even do some of the health coaching stuff that um, we yeah, do. Yeah, I am a health coach or a health and wellness coach. And Mike is a personal trainer. That is our day job in what's well, like our life though. Yeah. Right? So we live and breathe it. So we'll be surfing, golfing, going on adventures, traveling, cooking, working out. And Dancing. Laughter will be the main ingredient in the recipe. Mm. Hmm. We do a lot of it. It's just natural to us. So, yeah. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. See you guys. See ya. <laughs>